Good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Worldwide distribution coming to you. If I don't do me a commentary today, <clears throat> and not uh, not joking around, I'm serious about it. So uh, pay attention. About drug addiction. I was doing a survey a while ago. I do surveys to make some extra money online. I get some Amazon cards and stuff like that when I do them. And uh, so uh, I, the question on the survey was, do you think addiction is a choice uh, or not? And uh, in other words, the way this uh, surveyor was going, it, it's like uh, he's trying to, or he or she, I don't know which it was, was trying to say that uh, if you're addicted to drugs, it's your fault. Well, that's true, it is. I guess I don't agree with that. But I, I commented down on the bottom of it because, you know, I'm a commentarier person. I commented down on the bottom. I said, drug, uh, the use of drugs is a choice, but an addiction comes later. Um, that you're going to regret. And uh, that's uh, kind of true. Now, I, uh, what I'm a hurt, what I read about on uh, there's all kinds of addictions drug addictions, alcoholic addiction, that's a drug too. Uh, and uh, like that. And uh, <clears throat> with the alcoholics, they were saying on, on the internet that they, that's, that's a disease that you got it and so you made a choice to make the first drink and then you became a, a, an addict well i'm uh, wondering wouldn't it be the same thing maybe on the drug end of it too but you made a choice to take the drugs but then you have an addictive type of personality and it, it's really uh, like a sickness and uh, so i i, I I um, just want to throw that out for you to think about that part of it. And then the other part of it is this. So what do we do as a society throughout the world, not just in America, we do it pretty much everywhere. Um, although I read about some countries that sort of changing things a little bit on it. So here's what we do. The, we, we declared a war on the drugs. One of them presidents, I don't know who, which one it was, I think it was Reagan, but I don't know. It don't matter really. He declared the war on the drugs. Well, he ain't won it. It's still going on, and uh, and and so the idea was, you go out there and you arrest as many people as you can and put them in a jail as much as you can, and uh, then get get rid of the drug problem. And uh, from what I'm seeing, it ain't changed the drug problem one iota. It's even got worse. So. I'm saying whatever we're doing at the present time to curtail drug addiction in America, I can't speak for the rest of the world, it ain't working people. We need to come up with some more ideas. And uh, now I can propose my ideas all day long, it don't make no difference whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, but I can tell you this, what we're doing ain't working. It ain't. So uh, I go on to this one thing. I consider smoking a cigarette an addiction. Now it ain't the first time a kid picks one away, ain't a kid or whoever picks one up and lights it up in his mouth don't mean he gets addicted to it. But after a while he does and uh, he can't, he or she can't put her down. Well, that there's an addiction. And uh, so the big old Congress up there, they decided they were going to sue all the cigarette owners um, and uh, make them pay because everybody else did it. Now, I never did think that lawsuit was right, but some good came out of it anyhow, in my opinion. They, uh, they, they sued them all, and then they get, give the states a whole bunch of money to educate the public not to smoke no more, that it was addictive. And uh, according to what I'm reading on the Internet, Smoking has come down in America. Less people smoke than uh, they did uh, before. And uh, 
and I can remember, this is a true story, I, I used to be in the management field and I was at a management meeting back in the 1980s and the company that, that owned business I was in uh, uh, belonged to uh, R.J. Reynolds and uh, or they were affiliated with them somehow, that's where they got the money or something. Anyway, there's a fellow there from R.J. Reynolds, he was a higher up guy. And uh, one of the guys, I was standing there, he asked him, he said, uh, are you concerned about all this regulation on the smoking in the United States on the packs and all that kind of stuff? And uh, a fellow laughed and said to him, no, we ain't concerned a bit. We just don't already moved over to the third world country to get them people smoking over there. There ain't no regulation. We make just about as much money. We're making more money over there than we are in the United States anyway. We know everybody's going to uh, curtail their smoking in the United States, and we're just moving on. So there you said, what happened on that part of it? So uh, anyway, I got off subject a little bit. So, you know, it seems to me like the, one of the best ways uh, to help people get off of addiction is uh, to help them not get on it to begin with with some more advertising and stuff and that come out of that with money going to the states that sued the tobacco companies. Um, the other thing is um, locking people up and putting them in jail um, that ain't helping them get off an addiction none and uh, just makes them into criminals and that ain't no good either I don't like that. So um, I'm a liberal-hearted, bleeding liberal heart, and uh, go on if you don't like it, that's too bad. But I believe in we need to forgive people a little bit and help them, especially people that's on drugs, because if you help them get off of the drugs, um, then they're going to be less crime. And there's going to be somebody that's uh, on the hard side say, well, um, they shouldn't have got on it to begin with, and I agree with that, they shouldn't have, but they did and you can't sit there and tell me that you ain't never made a bad choice in your life because uh, if you do you go go to refer to my uh, video yesterday about liars so anyways <laughs> anyway look um, let's uh, let's take another look at it America we need to change the way we're dealing with the drugs in America because what we're doing just ain't working anyhow old Jim's out